My name's Jane Welsh and I am the Director of Language for Learning at St Albans Academy. Today has been the live streaming of Richard II into schools all over the country. For most of them, it's probably their first encounter with a live Shakespeare performance. In the past, they may have only encountered that as a text on a page. Obviously, with our involvement, they're, in, they're um, learning about Shakespeare in a very active way. But in terms of seeing a production, this, for many, will be their very, very first time and perhaps their only opportunity to do it also. We will have certain children at our school um, and have had some already who have been fortunate enough to actually go and see Richard II, but that was 44 students. Whereas today we've reached a 300 plus. We decided that we would screen this across the whole of Key Stage 3, so Year 7, 8 and 9. So we've got every single child in, in those year groups involved in watching the live performance today. This morning, so that it's fresh in their minds. Um, the children had a 45 minute preparation session so that they could have a, have a reference for who is who because there's not chance for them to talk to each other, there's not chance for them to work that out, we can't pause it, it's live. So they need to instantly recognise who these characters are um, and we wanted to help them do that so that it put those things in context. They tend to find it fascinating once they're understanding what's happening. Some of the words it's very hard to understand but once someone acts it, it's like you can tell what they're doing from their actions. That's very educational but, and fun at the same time. So you, would, you can't tell it's educational. And it's the moment that you have all been waiting for. I'm delighted right now to welcome to the studio star of the production himself, the fantastic David Tennant and artistic director of the RSC and director of Richard II, Greg Doran. Thank you so much. We're collecting the questions because there's a Q&A and question and answer session um, with David Tennant. So the students have got the opportunity to really ask about the rehearsal process some of the decisions that he went through, thoughts about the staging, why things were done in a certain way. Um, so it really enables them to interact. I've just sat and actually read through um, probably a hundred odd questions, I'd say, that have been generated from 30 children whilst they were watching, they were writing. And the quality of questions, again, it couldn't have come about without them going through this experience. Um, they really are very, very insightful questions that. Um, they're, they're really excited to have the opportunity to, to ask those questions and to hear some of those answers. <laughs> We've got a final question here from St Albans School, Birmingham. How much say did you have about how the play was staged and did you just do as you were told? I always do what I'm told. I just, I stand where I'm told, I say the words. Um, well, I suppose the, the setting was decided before This is we... the first time we've ever done anything like this, but the feedback already is extremely positive. The most important thing is you, you need to prepare, though. You can't throw the students in cold with no background because there's no time to talk to them whilst it's playing out. You can't go and start trying to sort out what they're not understanding because that sort of ruins it. It's not too difficult. You know, the link is, is a click and there it is. And, it's user-friendly, so I'd, I would say definitely go for it, but do your preparation beforehand.